this morning for car breakfast we have some yogurt with some bran flakes and some berries and some honey and some seeds and some nuts and some jam and we're having car breakfast again did i say breakfast then or did i speaking i don't know because i'm currently in westfields in stratford i left at seven this morning it's now just about nine i am you know, i'm not entirely sure what i'm doing but estrid have launched in boots and i am just going along today to help launch that when i'm done i'm going straight home because i feel like i need a nap firstly but i'm doing something on sunday which is slightly insane you know i love my little park runs and i've been getting so into them and i just love them like it sounds so insane because me a year ago i did not like running i started doing my park runs and just about died to finish the 5k in god knows what time and i hated it for about another four or five months i'd say which sounds insane why would you do something every week if you hate it and i guess i didn't hate it completely since then I just really enjoy my really average 5Ks. So I signed up to a 10K to do on Sunday. So it's Brighton Marathon weekend and at 8.47, which is my wave time, I'm gonna set off and do the 10K. And we don't follow the marathon course exactly, but we follow some of it. So I'm gonna pretend in my head that I'm running a marathon. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. So I just wanna rest. I wanna do nothing. For the rest of today and all of tomorrow, I wanna do nothing and then just try my best to finish this 10K on Sunday. I can do it. I have run 10 kilometers before. Obviously it was extremely slow, but it was a long time ago. And my goal is to just do it. Just keep running, run the whole thing. No matter how slow I have to plod, just keep going. So I'm quite nervous when I think about it. Anyway, I'm gonna transform myself. Can you see I've got my rollers in? Woohoo. I'm gonna go find this store. I don't even know where Boots is in this ginormous shopping center. <sighs> don't mind me, just trying to get changed in the car. But can you take a wild guess at what I forgot to put in my makeup bag? So I'm going to have to run to Boots to find a lip liner because look at me! Oh. oh. Nobody look at the lady getting changed in her car. Oh, this is nice and creased, isn't it? I give up. I don't really care. I don't really care. I just need to get there. Did I forget my jewellery? Probably. Are you having any fun? No, 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 no. Take these. Ouch. My little ow. Mobile salon. Watch these just flop. And I woke up at six to do my hair. And drive all the way up to London with rollers in my head for nothing. Oh, uh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, that will do. That will do. Do you know what At least we can smell nice. You can't go wrong if you smell nice. Are you having any fun? Not really! I've been trying this, which is the NARS light reflecting, the one that everyone has, with the NARS powder. And you know how passionately I feel about foundation and getting a good one, and a good quality one, and I just really... Foundation is apparently a passion of mine. That one is really good, really, really good. It's light, it doesn't sit into your kind of pores and your lines too much. I mean, it does because every foundation does. It's impossible not to. But it's a really light one that's really easy to apply and it doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation. I actually really recommend that. I think it's a really good foundation. See, I've actually got powder on my cheek, but you can see how I'm still like glowy. Oh, I've got two earrings on. <laughs> my earrings aren't. No, they're not. I've just got two pairs. I could have bet my life that I put my necklaces in here this morning. I would have actually bet my life. That is so weird. All right, we've not had the strongest start today. Let's go and see if we can turn it around <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going and I hate my outfit and it's just one of those days feeling sorry for myself but I actually hate my outfit so much I'm um, looking I'm just trying to go buy another one I'm gonna buy another one I know I'm being insane but I just feel a bit better now just bought a random t-shirt from H&M <laughs> Did you see that? Did I manage to show you anything? <laughs> if I did, you will see how cute that little pop-up was. Pop-up, super cute. Estrid, 
the fucking cutest. I love them as a brand, as people, 10 out of 10. Westfield Stratford, mmm, not so sure. <laughs> I remembered when I was here that I've been here before. It's just not for me, you know? It's not my vibe, it's not my energy, way too much. I did have a full meltdown when I got here um, and decided I hated my outfit. I don't know how you can be that offended by a white shirt because it was literally just a white shirt, but you know when you get in your head about these things and yeah, that was interesting. That was a bit weird, but it's okay. I spent 16.99 on this average t-shirt that I'll probably put straight on Vinted for six pounds because I just won't wear it again. Oh, brains are weird. Brains are really, really weird. Anyway, nothing new there. I'm sure by the time I edit this, it will be long gone, but I will put my Astrid, um, my Astrid discount and the link in the, in the description because you still get a free shaving foam. And I sound like I have shares in the brand and I, I just genuinely don't. But when you've got a discount code running, may as well share it. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home. Um, calm down because I don't know what's going on with me and my energy today. Get out of London And like I said, I just need to do nothing for the rest of the day relax turn my brain off and mentally prepare myself for Sunday I've got this I've got this right. Love you lots Speak to you on the back <laughs> Today is the day I'm Trying to choke down a banana and not throw up Wait, well, it's for you. I'm for Emily, but I'll just wear it. Take it off. Do you only want one? Yeah! Come on! Woo! Woo! I don't know if I'm like surprised I actually finished it, but I just, I'm so buzzing. Watch me wear this for the next week. <laughs> now I know because I've been able to feel it. I know I've got two massive blisters and it's weird because I've worn my running shoes oh, the whole time, like to, for the past four or five months and they're really good. And I don't know if it's just the extra distance that made them rub. I'm gonna link them below because they are the best shoes. And I'm gonna show you my blisters now. If you don't like this, you've only got yourself to blame if you stick around. Oh my God. And then I've got a matching one here. Ew. Oh, it's really sore. Oh, I really need to drain them, I can tell. <laughs> but it's gonna sting. I just ran 10K. Shout out my weekly park runs because that's the only reason I can do it. I didn't train to run 10K. I just kind of thought, wow, two park runs in a row. Can't be that bad. <laughs> I did it with two girlfriends and we all finished really close to each other, which was so nice. I'm gonna do it next year. It was just it was so good. And then because it's the Brighton Marathon 10K, we set off really early this morning. And then when we finish, the actual marathon kind of gets going. So I've just been stood at the top of my road because the marathon runs past our road at the top and the bottom end. It's amazing just watching the actual marathon runners and especially after running 10k and knowing how much pain i'm in watching them hit 22 miles and i just think god you guys are amazing which of course they are but brighton marathon such good energy and such a nice one and i've never been to london marathon but i feel like brighton is a nice little it's still huge but obviously not as big as london because nothing's as big as london whoa that scared me a lot you'll show them I got a t-shirt. <laughs> you on your feet? Yes, now I'm just draining mm. my feet. Oh, you nasty. Oh no, it's gross. You're your feet. I have to, it's disgusting. This is gonna hurt. Coming to you again from the car and again with no lip liner on. <sighs> Today is my least favorite type of day and I think I'm just in a really bad mood. Maybe this week in general has been a bad mood week for me. It's only Tuesday for God's sake. I'm going to an event 
I don't like events as you know but I really just have to suck it up sometimes and get them done and there's nothing wrong with this event it's with Dove who obviously I work with I say obviously if you don't follow me on TikTok you won't know but I do occasionally work with Dove not on like product selling only on their kind of initiative work which means I never have to link a um link a product or, or recommend a body wash it's just you know they do these big campaigns around like beauty standards and realistic beauty and all that anyway um the event will be amazing because they they are i say that i've never been to one because i ducked out of the last one because it's me <laughs> now i couldn't go to the last one and there was a reason i think i fucked up my diary is what i did and i wrote it down wrong and i woke up thinking it was the wrong day which happens a lot dyslexic brain so i was meant to go to that one so this is my first dove event i just don't like events full stop they is there is never anything wrong with the event the people holding the event the people at the event it's just all me um and a my brain thing and I'm going because this is an important one to go to and I should go to it and even if I go and I don't like it and I find it too overwhelming I'll just leave like it's so easy the event is in central London and you'll be like but you're in the car I fucking know I'm about to drive to Tottenham Court Road have you ever heard anything so ridiculous in your life no you haven't because I am absolutely ridiculous you know I showed you my blisters well <laughs> The one on the left, that was two days ago. So today is Tuesday, I ran on Sunday. The one on the left has turned into like a hard bit of skin already. It's calmed down, it's not red anymore and it's fine. This morning at about 5, 5 a.m. I woke up because my right foot was throbbing and I don't think it's gotten infected, but maybe it has actually. It's really red, the blister is bigger than it was before. So it's really hurting. So I put my shoes and socks on anyway to go for my morning walk at seven. And I just stepped out the house and I just realized I couldn't, I couldn't walk on the right foot. I hobbled for about 10 minutes, like really lopsided. And then I thought, this is ridiculous. I can't walk, just go home. Turned around, hobbled back home. And then I realized I've got to get to London today. And whenever I go to London, I do about 20,000 steps. <laughs> so the only way to get there with a foot that I can't really walk on is to drive which I'm not thrilled about because who wants to drive to Central? Not me. So maybe I'll pick you up when we're near like Trafalgar Square. <laughs> we can laugh at the experience together. I do drive up to London quite regularly. Actually, do you know what? I'd say I drive up to London at least once every other week, but never Central. So I'm just about to pull in to pick up some petrol. I will see you in two hours because that's how long this is going to take. Hopefully, parked up i have to find a parking space on tottenham court road or around it that's the stupidest idea anyone's ever had um yeah wish me luck i kind of made it i've parked in chelsea and then i've just called an uber to here to take me into soho i feel like i saw sense and i saw a parking space so i nabbed it <laughs> So you've been Did you see that? Did you see? Did, did I show you efficiently? Sufficiently? <sighs> that was fine. It was fun, I might even say. The fun part is seeing lovely, beautiful women, other creators who you admire and respect massively. That's the fun part. There is just so much energy involved <laughs> in going to these things. But if you saw that thing that was playing on the screen, that is Dove's newest TV ad. Did I explain this on the way up? God, I don't know, honestly. Of which I am in. I'm walking across in my bikini. It's very cool, it's very surreal, it's very exciting. But now begins the task of driving all the way home. I'm leaving at the worst possible time. <laughs> Although saying that, this is telling me it's an hour and 43, which is actually less than it took to get here. So, <sighs> let's get going and see 
what we manage. I'm exhausted. All the way home. Joy oh joys. You know everything I've ever said about PR and how I don't accept it and I've asked to be removed from all the PR lists because I found it wasteful and um, yeah I just I just I just stopped a few years ago. <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> okay, obviously don't take it all back, but I came home from London yesterday and these had arrived. Are they not just the most beautiful flowers. I want to get married on a beach in Fiji with these as my bouquet. B texted me to say you've had a delivery. And I said, oh, thank you. Can you put them in some water? He said, I don't think they're real. <laughs> they are real. And he even said he tore one because he just didn't think it was real. <laughs> just boys. <laughs> and then from the same people, not just a beach tote, but a jelly cat. Jelly cat. And a really cute keychain jelly cat. And it's from Sol de Janeiro, my favourite people, because like, look at the, the writing on the envelope and the seal with a star uh, a sun on it. And then and then like a lovely a lovely note to say, like enjoy these, and someone's written it with their hands to like send me some oh, it's just so nice. The bag is full of let me just open it up. Oh my god. When I did the 10k, loads of the 10k girlies and the marathon girlies were wearing these really big beautiful scrunchies over their buns and I literally thought those are so cute. Where is that from? It's from Good Squish. Never heard of them, immediately my favourite brand. Little Tangle Teaser brush, lovely. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, a stone of some sort. I don't know why I smelled it. It's not going to smell of anything. The real goodies are the classic Sol de Janeiro scent products. Oh. oh my God, I took this to Ibiza last year. And that just reminds me of that beautiful hotel that we stayed in. Classic Bam Bam Cream, classic body oil. Not like I need any more, but oh my goodness. I did get sent something else from them the other day that I actually wanted to show you. Where would I have put this? Where would I have put this? I put it somewhere safe because I literally put it away and was like, I must keep that safe and neat. <laughs> now I don't know where I put it. this now this oh oh i don't know if you would have seen sophia ritchie has recently posted a few tiktoks with her friend is it shane the really funny guy and she is like i want to say the face of this campaign for sol de janeiro and they're launching um spfs but spf 50 which dream because i don't know about you if i'm wearing if i'm wearing spf which i do every day because i'm very good at that it's 50 because why would it not be but this is really interesting to me because it's a body spray so obviously summer and an spf actual spray is so much easier i don't want to waste any but i do just want to kind of see what it smells like i feel like it's just like luxury sunscreen actually i'll just smell this one this is the lotion oh, we're only in april but i want to go on holiday so much That is, that smells nothing like sun cream. <gasps> oh, it's a nice formula actually. That's really quite like easy to rub around. I mean, it doesn't smell anywhere near as good as like this, but that is a much nicer scent than any other sunscreen ever. Anyway, I just wanted to, to show you that because it's just like made my whole day and it just made me laugh so much that B thought those flowers weren't real. I don't know why. It just cracked me up there is a little tear on the leaf where he has torn it but he he tore a leaf on one of the palm leaves and still told me that he thinks they're fake i am actually just back from the surgeons like just now and i've got an update so i've been going back to him every week for seven weeks and i live in hove the surgeon's office is in east grinstead which is about a 50 minute drive normally it takes close to an hour with traffic and i've been doing that once a week for seven weeks 
and I don't mind a good drive I actually quite like a little alone time in the car but my god it gets so boring and expensive the petrol separate tangent the boobs so he said that I am good for three months so I don't need to go back there three whole months and they're healing really well and he shows me the pictures that he takes of my boobs every time I go he take, shows me the picture of the time before which is fascinating because you don't think anything's changed because you see them every day and then you do and you're like oh my god they've actually they're so much different um so all the rippling oh, I've got tapes on so I can't show you that's a shame but basically the scars are looking really good they are healing I've had a couple of little um knots uh stitch knots throw themselves out so what will happen is I'll feel a little bit of pressure or a little niggle and I'll touch it and it will be raised and I'll just squeeze it like you would a spot. I know that's gross, but when you look at it, you can tell it really needs to be squeezed. And a little stitch will pop out. It is gross, but 12 surgeries later, I'm literally like, I'm so good at, like, it doesn't, it's not gross anymore for me anyway. So yeah, really good boob news. Really, really good boob news. <sighs> I think that's about it. So you know, I've been showing you all these house viewings and all I seem to talk about and think about is houses. And if we were to get something we could afford more easily, we'd be moving away from here, which is Hove Seafront. And then every time something stops us, and it's because of this, we're so spoiled and I'm so spoiled because I grew up in Brighton. But this is the best place to live in the whole world. You can disagree with me all you want, but that's what I believe. This is my walk every single day. Every single morning I wake up and I walk this. Is that I'm not am I not like the luckiest human in the entire entire world? I think so. So next time I talk about moving house, just tell me to shut the fuck up.